Yo, what is good? My anime free for what is good, yo? Guys, I am sad to say this, but things are speeding up way too quick quickly in this show. And I already know where it's heading, and it sucks to even start to think about it, so... Let's just get right into it. This week's episode, we get to see not only how much the father and the daughter are starting to think alike, we get to see them make, or one made, one bought the same exact thing for each other. Um, it was also really cool to see the golem thinking about clothes for his daughter and stuff, man, like, it's such it's such an amazing uh show and it it definitely hurts that much more when you know these characters can't be together forever um so with situations popping off and situations needing to be handled our golem takes it in his own hands to do so by pushing himself and trying to just protect his daughter um, to then find out that it doesn't matter what he does because at this point in time his body is very very close to giving out so much so that he couldn't even stop it from deteriorating today and that sucks man um, because you know at the same exact freaking time his body is breaking down and it's about to be gone he straight up loses an arm um all this happens for us to find out that he is going to be in a position where he's not gonna have nearly as much as he did to finish the uh the journey at hand like he's just not going to be in a position where that's going to be possible if if this doesn't end you know quickly and in a hurry it's going to be the one of the last things he gets to do because of just uh, the time or how much he's how much effort he's putting into this is going to drain all of that out of his time so that really sucks man um including just knowing like i was saying like she doesn't have a clue that this is even a thing that this is even happening so for her it's now probably going to be even something more she feels guilty about like it's her fault because if she wasn't around uh he wouldn't have to defend her and if he if she wasn't around as well there wouldn't be human hunters after him so it's these types of things that definitely you don't want a kid to have to bear for some time afterwards you know even if you get safe and stuff like that she's probably still going to carry this with her for a long time so it's those types of things I can't even block right there that's fun that really uh, drive home the point of just how serious things gotten and how ridiculously close I got to uh, wanting to end all uh, these monsters in the show. So it's getting interesting. It's getting uh, pretty hard to watch as well. <laughs> just knowing that you want to have the best for them and the characters within the show aren't in that mood uh we get to hear a decent backstory of just why some of the uh monsters as we see them he, uh, you know normal people as as they see each other why they're so you know resentful towards the you know others humans and what could have happened and we learn that you know one of the monsters risked his life to save a human and winds up going and delivering the kid back home which I don't even know how he knew which house was his but to then see come on like <laughs> it's so 
and this is this is always humans too, right? Like they're afraid of their own shadows, so of course they're gonna if a shadow of their own popped up and said, "Hi, how you doing?" He's got they're gonna shoot the shadow, you know? Like they're just dumb. Humans are notoriously dumb uh or fearful is a better word. And because of this, oh man. Oh, thank you. You saved it. Now I can beat the crap out of you. Um it's it's a natural like we can't be mad at the human for doing this because that's a natural reaction for somebody of our species to see something out of the norm that isn't, you know, uh, a human. Oh, it's not human? Oh my god, I gotta freak out and, you know, do all this stuff even though my child has been gone for a while and if the monsters wanted to eat my child, why would he deliver it to my front door to, to, yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, so that happened shoot the monsters cause a big battle between two villages that would have never really been battling if it wasn't for this situation that had arised of them taking one of their own after he risked their life which i don't even know how they know he risked his life if he risked his life why wasn't someone else out there with them to help so there's that but overall i think this is a good understanding of you know and this is just one village of monsters you know this is just one place that lived in this lifestyle and had this happen to them so it doesn't even account for why others dislike humans or why else they go and do what they do you know so i think that's what i took out of this the most is now we have an understanding of what could be possibly done to the monsters to be so like vicious towards them and it only explains just one village not every single monster so we'll see how all this plays out i hope you guys are having an amazing day night evening because our golem guy isn't and seeing him in this snapped out ridiculously angry form i can only imagine how much it's going to cost him and if he has to go around being one-armed for the rest of the show, man, I don't know if I can do it. Um, that's that's pretty rough. So we'll see how this all plays out. Hope you guys are having an amazing one, and I'll talk to you as soon as possible. So with all that being said, I am your boy, the Anime G, and I will talk to you sooner than later. So with all that being said, take care and peace.